Okay, I just wanted to show you what is the difference now between ParaView, ParaFun, when open, opening files and dealing with large measures. So here I have a case. You don't have this case in your tutorials. Okay, it is a large mesh. Well, it's not that large. It's about four million cells. So let me show you now here. I will open this mesh, okay? And I will use ParaFun, okay? So the mesh was generated with the snappy, but it doesn't matter if I, from where it's coming. It's just when you start to deal to deal with large cases. So I will open here and I will press here apply and let's time. Okay, let's see how long does it take to open the file. Okay, so press play and let's see. Okay, so we'll start to do the magic. Okay, and this is what I wanted to show you that. Using some options, you can get faster uh, outcomes when dealing with large measures. So in this case, that is reading. This is the famous or infamous PV phone reader. Okay, so this is a reader for open phone meshes. And should be almost done here. Okay, voila, we have it. It took about 25 seconds. Okay, so here what we have is this mesh. Okay, it's a F Formula One or Formula E car now. So we have the mesh here so see that refinement sounds but it's something about four million cells okay so see that it's kind of a, a long time and then remember that previously we were computing stuff like statistics sampling or, or computing q criterion is if it takes 20 seconds 25 seconds for each time shot time step it, it can be very time consuming very heavy so let's see that now what happens if i if i use and something else. So I will use now Parafon built in. So this is the option that we are using different different plugins. So this is the one that shows is faster than Paraview Parafon normal. Okay. So let's see what happened now. So let me press here apply, reading the mesh, and let's see what happens. So here okay reading and definitely it's faster. It took about eight seconds seven seconds so you have the mesh so i think there is it's three times faster i think uh, i think it's clear why it's better to use that one and besides besides the fact that is the fact that is faster also here remember that you have the option to read decompose reconstruct cases so the filters everything are exactly the same nothing changed okay so the problem is that that plugin that i, I haven't figured out because what why is so slow and finally let me show you that also with the part of you normal you can do it so remember part of you normal you can you need to create that that file let me open it like this so this one will be the same okay equivalent to to build in auction okay so i have it there and let's time also so go boom time and voila we're done so pretty much the same time as the previous case okay so this is it my best advice when it comes to to dealing now with part of your part of fun try to use or part of you or, or part of them with the auction built in and just to show you this geometry it's a nice cool geometry so so the mesh everything down with uh with a snappy okay with a nice boundary layer also so this is what we have okay so this is a formula e okay so we have the geometry here okay so when setting the case, you put the wheels into motion, ground motion, also moving walls, just to say. Okay, so just wanted to show you that. Okay, so guys, just try to use it. Since you have a, a small meshes, it doesn't matter, part of phone and part of your whatever normal will we'll, we'll perform very similar. However, when sensors start to become more than 1 million cells, like 4 or 5, I know that definitely 10 million cells, it's better to use the suction part of you, only part of you, or use the platform built in and to show you the link and of part of you because also recommend you to to download the precompiled binaries okay so if you if, if you go to this link web page here you have part of you you go here into download key and then here you have the latest version okay so see that in part of you so you have now 5.81 so see here that you have this precompile okay so you have precompile using python 3.7 so my advice also use the the latest version the 
2.7 Python uh, is not supported anymore. So if you are working with version 2.7, just my advice, just switch to 3.7. There is not much to do, but just try to stick with version 3.7. So see that you have this pre-compiled binary with MPI and Python 3.7. So this is much faster than those plugins that comes with the version that you compile in OpenFone. And another piece of advice also when you install that one in your bash RC. Now let me show you my bash, bash RC. It says you will need to add the, the, the path Okay, the library and the binary path. Okay, because you have new libraries, you add this, and then you are going to read that, those new the, the, that new installation. That is downloaded. Also, if you you want, you can download from your, for your operating system. So in my case, okay, I'm using OpenSUSE. Uh, so if you go here. Most of the time, you will have the precompiled binaries, the official distribution for that operating system. So that also works okay. Okay, so here it's just updating, reading. So let's wait a little bit. So I, I have, and actually, I have, I had this the official version for OpenSUSE installed, but I removed this one in favor of the latest one. Okay, but doesn't matter. I just play it. So you have part of you and see that. For instance, in my case, the official one is the 563, which is great. There is no problem. So it's up to you. So at this point, I think I can stop here. Thank you for following me. And uh, again, I hope you are enjoying everything and let's move to, to more advanced topics. Thank you and bye.